If you're like most people, you probably think that mold is only something you need to clean out of the corner of your shower, or the reason to throw out that weak old loaf of bread. But the truth is, mold is everywhere. Over 37 million people in the United States suffer from chronic sinusitis, one of the most common chronic diseases in the world. And cases have steadily increased over the last decade. But it's not just sinusitis that's an issue. Mold and its byproducts, mycotoxins that we'll share more about shortly, can affect our health in many ways. Fungi, or molds, are abundant in our environment. These organisms are usually harmless to healthy people, as the mold spores in the outside air are less concentrated and are not an exposure risk likely to cause problems. There are people who have mold allergies and who experience symptoms when outdoor mold counts are elevated, but few people are systemically affected and immune compromised by routine outdoor mold exposures. Conversely, the presence of the same mold species growing indoors in a built environment can make you sick. So why does indoor mold make you sick? Because indoor exposure is much more concentrated and magnified. For example, you can burn a pile of leaves outdoors, and due to the volume of fresh air, everyone around the burn pile is fine. But if you burn the same pile indoors, someone could die of smoke inhalation. In other words, the same amount of smoke that was okay outside is dangerous indoors. Indoors, the concentration and exposure risk is much greater. 16 to 20% of people are mold sensitive. To add to the complexity of mold exposure, and why some people get sicker than others, 16 to 20% of the population has a genetic T-cell or immune system defect which gives them a predisposition to mold sensitivities and an inability to mount an appropriate immune response to the exposure. If sensitive to mold, a person can have an exaggerated immune reaction whenever it enters their nasal passages, which is the main line of exposure. Typical allergic responses to mold and fungi include hay fever type symptoms, such as sneezing, runny nose, red eyes, and a skin rash known as dermatitis. There are also systemic symptoms such as muscle and joint pain, fibromyalgia, GI symptoms, and fatigue common for those with mold allergies. Certain fungi such as Aspergillus, Cladosporium, Penicillium, Fusarium, and Curvillaria can cause serious illness in people with genetic sensitivities and even in some people without genetic T-cell defects. Because mold can impact an individual in many different ways, there's no one absolute symptom. Some symptoms may be caused by a variety or a combination of factors. Mold, and more specifically, the secondary toxic metabolites produced by some molds called mycotoxins, can destroy every system in the human body. There are over 400 different mycotoxins, and they can inhibit the synthesis of proteins which the body needs to repair itself. They cause immune system suppression that allows bacterial infections to trigger the onset of many different types of disease. And they can enter the body through inhalation, ingestion, and absorption. Seven symptoms that point to mold include one, chronic sinusitis, two, unusual sensory symptoms, three, dizziness, balance problems, and slow reflexes. 4. Excessive fatigue 5. Headaches 6. Sudden alterations or fluctuations in mood and 7. Allergies To learn more about these mold-specific symptoms and what to do, we have more details linked below. When considering mold, we've put together some questions to think about. This entire list is linked in the caption. If you want to dig deeper, take our free mold awareness survey to help you gain a better understanding if mold may be the root cause of your issues and provide you with key insights on how to start solving the problem and feeling good again. You can find a link to it below. Okay, what if you're thinking it's mold but not sure? When in doubt, start here. Number one, check your environment. This includes things like monitoring the indoor humidity and keeping it below 47%. Number two, seek the care of an environmental or mold literate practitioner. These professionals can assist with testing and treatment recommendations. And as mentioned over and over in previous articles, your environment must be clean in order for you to get better. So move to a safe environment or find those mold sources and clean them up. Dr. Dennis's environmental treatment protocol that utilizes EC3 products available on this list can also be extremely helpful for those who cannot immediately move or remediate. Details on where to download this protocol guide are in the caption. Number three, begin incorporating some simple mold-focused solutions. Eliminating the mold problem is the key to managing illness. Simply eliminating surface mold is not enough. You must correct the underlying problems of moisture and fuel to stop the growth. Otherwise, the problem will just return. Once the source of the mold is identified and removed, 
Then you can clean the mold from your living space to create a healthy living environment. Find EC3 products linked in the caption. Cleaning a mold problem and managing its health side effects can be complicated depending on the severity of the issue. Here are some guidelines to help you make a sound decision on how to best handle this problem, and some things to remember. If you're sick, the best solution is often to get into a safe place where you feel best. Do not take anything that was in the contaminated area that cannot be properly cleaned. Fungi need sugar to grow in your body, so essentially removing sugar from your diet helps to not feed the problem. If you're unable to move or not severely sick, treat your environment with the environmental treatment protocol. You will want to test before and after to make sure that you have the mold under control. If your mold problem has been caused by water damage or is particularly large, you may want to get it treated by a professional environmental company. Remember, once you have symptoms of mold exposure, you must remove mold from both your body and environment, including your clothing and home contents, in order to regain your health. Your symptoms will worsen and could even lead to more serious illness if the problem is not remediated. The good news is you have more options than ever before to help you with this problem. Dr. Dennis always stresses the following. The air you breathe is the most important thing to address if you want to get better. Ready to get started? Great! Learn more about our founder and products at microbalancehealthproducts.com.